Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and this is a short Hatha Yoga flow that you can do in the morning to stretch out your neck and your shoulders. We're going to start in an easy child's pose. So maybe you want to get a block to sit on so you're a little bit more propped up. This will take the stretch even more into the whole spine. And then knees can be touching or a little bit wider. Take your hips back to your heels and let your forehead rest on your stacked palms or maybe on the mat. Your palms can reach back towards your heels. You can clasp hold of your heels, maybe give your feet a little bit of a massage. Taking four deep breaths here into your low back. And as you inhale, Imagine you could widen your low back with your breath. And as you breathe out, let the bones of your body drop down into the floor. Soften the shoulders, notice if there's any tension left that we want to soften here. See if you can make your inhales and exhales equal length. So inhaling for three. And exhaling for three. Let's come out of this pose, palms out in front of you to press yourself back up, one vertebra at a time. Taking a moment here to notice any difference in how you're feeling just after this first pose. And when you're ready, remove the block if you've been using it. From all fours coming into thread the needle next so please reach your right arm up to the sky twisting to the right and then threading it underneath you to the left your right shoulder and right side of the head rests on the mat you can use your left arm to press into the mat in front of your face or you can reach it out overhead to get a lit little bit more of a twist and also a stretch in the armpit area. Make sure that your hips stay directly over the knees and don't sway to either side. Take your last one deep breath in here and out. Making our way out of this pose, pressing into the hands to lift back up to center, tabletop position. And then going to the other side, left arm reaches up towards the sky and then thread it through, lowering your left shoulder and left forehead down to the mat. See that your hips stay directly over the knees, not swaying to the right or to the left too much. And then you can extend your right arm up overhead to get a nice armpit stretch as well. Going into the chest and your pecs and twisting in your mid to upper back. Two more deep breaths here. And on your next exhale, lift yourself back up to tabletop position. Releasing, coming out of this pose. And then please sit on your heels in a kneeling position. Just to take note how you're feeling now.
Focusing on the neck and shoulder area a little bit more now, interlace your fingers behind the nape of your head. And then going through a cat-cow motion here on your inhale. Expand and lift your chest, maybe look up just slightly. And on the exhale, round in your upper back and neck. Let the elbows touch as close as possible. And on your next inhale, expand. Think of your cat pose here, chest up to the sky. And exhale, elbows come close together and round. Three more times like this. Enjoy the stretch and the movement. Last one, inhale, extend, greet your day and exhale round, nice shoulder and neck stretch. Let go of the clasp of the hands and now just make some feel good shoulder rolls backwards to let go of any tension that may have built up and then reverse the direction so shoulder shoulder rolls forward staying in kneeling position extend both arms out in front of you 90 degrees bent and then wrap your right arm underneath the left for eagle arm variation and if this is too difficult for you you could always just hug your shoulder blades so choose a variation and then draw your shoulders down and back, hands press away from the face, feeling and enjoying the sensation of the stretch between the shoulder blades and your traps. And then maybe if you want to, on an inhale you can gently lift your elbows, on an exhale you can gently lower them, rounding chin to chest, inhale, lifting up just ever so slightly and then on an exhale you round, look into yourself, elbows draw down. Two more times like this or just static hold of the stretch, whatever feels best for you today. And then let the clasp of the arms go and just shake all the wrists. Just shake, 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 let it all go. Shake it off, maybe lowering the palms up and down. Shake, shake, shake. And then stop resting here, kneeling, palms on your knees. Notice how you're feeling. Eagle arm, second side, arms out in front of you. The left arm crosses underneath the right, clasp your hands or again you can hug just onto your shoulders or shoulder blades if this doesn't work for you. Stay here for the first few moments, feeling the stretch fully. And then if you want to, you can start on your inhale to lift your elbows and on your exhale to curl into yourself, chin to chest. Again, this is 
channeling our cat-cat motion, but just in a different variation and sitting down. So on each inhale, you lift the elbows, maybe look up slightly, lift the chest. And on your exhale, elbows lower down, chin goes to your chest and you round. Two more times like this, or static hold, whatever feels best for you. Release the interlacing of your arms and then again, shaking your wrists, your arms, maybe even the shoulders. Let it all out. Let it feel good. Maybe some shoulder rolls forward and backwards, whatever feels good for you. For a side neck stretch, interlace your palms behind your lower back and then bring your wrist over to your left side. So your arms are on your left side and then lower your left ear towards your left shoulder, feeling a nice stretch in the right side of your neck. I'm changing position so you can see it better. Enjoy the stretch in your right neck. You can play with lowering and lifting your chin. And then come back to center, lift your head up and change over to the second side. So your wrists and your fist is over to your right side, lowering your right ear to your right shoulder, feeling a stretch in the left side of your neck. Again, you might want to play with the position of your chin, stretch more in the front of your neck or more in the back of the neck, wherever you feel it the most. Let that go, come back to center, maybe roll out your wrists a little bit. And then coming to a close, come to a seated cross leg position if that's comfortable for you. Maybe sit up on a block or a pillow or a blanket. Nice tall spine, crown of the head to the ceiling. Shoulders glide down and back. Palms rest on your knees. Take this time to sit in intention for the rest of your day. Maybe something like, I choose to be happy. Taking three last deep breaths together, inhale. And let it go out of the mouth. Again, inhale in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Last one on your own. Hands meet in prayer in front of the chest. May you carry light and love out through the rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you yogis for doing this short Hatha Yoga morning class with me. If you liked it, please let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you again and practice again with you soon. Namaste.